guys, today we're going to be doing a video on our 2022 284BHOK Eagle HT Travel Trailer by Jayco. Uh, this unit comes with a two year warranty on everything and a third additional year on the structure of the unit with a 20 year warranty on the rubber membrane of the roof. This is a fully vacuum bonded laminated gel coated fiberglass unit, um, which makes it very strong. Um, around the entire structure. We also have the Climate Shield, which is a zero degree tested weather protection package that comes on all the Eagles. This includes like an enclosed underbelly. There is a very large output furnace, um, as well as double-sided radiant barrier insulation that goes in the floor, the roof, and behind the cap. And then you also have the double layer fiberglass insulation in the ceiling and floor. So this unit has been tested at zero degree weather and everything stays at 70 degrees or higher, including in the under compartments, as long as the furnace is on. So if you need to go camping in the winter or you want to extend your camping later in the season, this is a great unit for yourself. Um, but let's get started here. So up front here, we have the electric tongue jack. It has, um, a light as well to help you connect if you're connecting at night. Um, this is two 30 pound LP propane tanks up front here. We have this great cap with the LED lights built in to um, the perimeter there. We have very large pass through storage underneath. Um, we do have a nice light here that you can use. This is your J port table to go on your outside kitchen. And then you have a battery disconnect under here, but very nice, large storage area, which is something you you don't always get on a travel trailer. It's more so a fifth wheel type of thing, but this gives you a very nice um, storage area. We have four manual stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. Right here is where you would manually crank to drop your spare tire, should you need it. Um, we have a great, electric awning here with a white LED light strip built in. And uh, it's really nice. There's a little black grommet up there at the top of the awning. If there were to ever be anything electronically failing on the awning, you can manually crank it in with um, a socket, which is very, very convenient if something were to ever happen in the field. This is your furnace output here. We have our stove exhaust and then the back of our fridge. Um, if we move over here, you have a nice sized outside kitchen, little fridge, sink, and then your J-port table can go right in there for some extra counter space and prep area. Back up here, we have a nice roof ladder. I believe that will hold 350 pounds. We have this back door here that goes underneath the bottom bunk that you can put kayaks or bikes or a pack and play, any large items that you need to take with you back there. It is prepped for a backup camera. Um, and then back here, this is where you're going to do your dumping. All of your connections are back here. This is a 50 amp trailer, which you connect right here. And then this is your water heater exhaust. We are parked a little bit close, so I can't get you on the outside of that slide. But the slide out is prepped. Um, up top, it comes with the brackets if you wanna add an awning to your slide out. So that is nice. One thing, we also have a two inch receiver back here. So um, if you want to put something back here, it's gonna hold 300 pounds. So if you wanna put bikes, or so let's hop right inside. Oh, another thing, these steps, these are the more ride solid steps, um, step above steps. These are really nice. They just fold into the door and then you close the door right on it. But it's nice for anybody that needs a little bit more stability because you have your handle here as you're going up the step and then you have another handle right here. All right, let's jump right on the inside. So right when you walk in, right to your left here, you have your double bunks. Um, there is some storage up there above the top bunk. And then this bottom bunk is pretty sweet. It has that door there. So if you wanna bring your bikes in here or kayaks or pack and play or large items, they can go right in that back door and you can flip this bunk up for added storage or flip it back down and you have your two bunks with still some storage underneath here. But it has a nice built-in ladder as you can see here. And then if we swing over here, 
Um, this is just your interior lights and your awning light, and then this is your control panel here. Um, it comes with the Jayco Command Center. So this is great. So if this controls your entire trailer, as well as you can connect it by Bluetooth to your phone and work all of the items as well. So you could be outside opening the slide or opening the awning to make sure you're not about to hit to, into a tree or something. Um, we're gonna go over here to the bathroom. So this bathroom is great. It has a super good amount of counter space, has this awesome vanity and medicine cabinet here with LED lights behind it. If we open this up, we have a good amount of storage in there. It's pretty deep. And then if we come around here, we have a very nice glass shower door um, on our shower here with the good amount of storage. There's a good um, four shelves in there. There's an additional cubby here for more items in your bathroom, but I just love this countertop. There's just so much space. Uh, it's a lot for an RV in my opinion. Nice porcelain toilet in there. And then we will spin around here. We have our hide to bed couch that can sleep two adults. We also have this U-shaped dinette um, that also turns into a bed, which is really nice. They're stored underneath there. And then if we make our way over here into the master bedroom, we have some storage all the way around here. Um, we are CPAP compatible. So you have your little nightstands and an outlet and USB charger on both sides. And then over here, Over here we have some an additional storage so you have your own little built-in dresser there and um, some more storage above and then you can mount your, a TV in here if you want to and then underneath our bed we have a good amount of under bed storage um, and then we have this nice pocket door for privacy on the master bedroom if we spin over here, we have this awesome kitchen. So we have this, I just, I love the backsplash. I love everything about this kitchen. I just think it's very residential feeling. It's very, very nice, nicely designed. Um, but we have two basin sink here, stainless steel, um, a good amount of lights. And we have, um, this nice Furion stove and oven. And then you also have a pots and pans drawer below, which is nice for extra storage. Good three drawers here. And then we have our little spice rack that you can put your spices there. Um, and then we have our nice fridge and then fireplace, TV, entertainment center with a sound bar. But my favorite part about this trailer, so you're looking around, right? You're like, okay, it's really nice, but you know what? It would be really great if there was a pantry, but you know, where's the pantry? All right, so you're gonna come over here. You're gonna grab this. Look at this. Open this up. Whoop. Look at this huge pantry. And it's deep too. Look at all of those shelves. There's even places you can put your coats and then you just hide it away right behind the entertainment center. How amazing is that? So this trailer is fully decked out. It also has the Helix system, which is 40% quieter air conditioner. It's a very effective um, cooling system that comes in the Jayco's now, which um, it's just, you know, when you're ever in an RV and you turn the air conditioner on, it's like really, really loud. This one is much quieter, which is great. Um, I also forgot to go over the bunk capacity. So each of these bunks are 600 pound capacity, which is great. So if you want to put two adults up there, you can do that. Um, but yeah, this is the 2022 284 BHOK Eagle HT travel trailer.